My neighbor has a Hellcat Airboat. Yo, let's go. Jay Yeah, I was gonna say, you better be filming this. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Give you some more room, man. <laughs> we didn't spill a drop. Nothing. I, I put a Ziploc bag over yeah, the yeah, oil yeah. filter and change it so it doesn't leak anywhere. Yeah. Well, oddly enough, there was a hole in the bag, so I stopped <laughs> shooting oh the video because it was just pissing out on the ground. <laughs> Behind the scenes, everyone's like, damn, dude, Denofa's living in 2065. Meanwhile, it's just like all down my arm anyway. Saturday, game day. I'm ready to have some fun. Dude, I've been having fun. I a see too you. Much, a little bit too much. We didn't get much runs on uh, Thursday, but everything we did on fr on Wednesday was amazing. So we just need to do that and elevate it a little bit. Vaughn tried some things out in the car that we're going to get this round. Thanks for crash test dummying it. No problem. There wasn't any crashes. And that was good. It worked unbelievable. Yeah. Thanks for pushing me to do it. Yeah. No, oh, I mean, for like the last seven years, he's been like, hey man, you either got to focus on the win every battle and do all that and have fun with that or find your way to do that. And like, we just had different ways of doing it. And finally, he did, can't really win a championship this year. So I'm like, for 15 years, you've been doing it one way. And I think you've always kind of wanted to have a little more fun with it. So just take that chance and run with it. Yeah, and elaborate on that, right? Everyone knows Chelsea is Chelsea and he does what he wants. <laughs> You know, I've been a, you know, on a mission to win championships, and there's a way to do that, and it's a longer game. I know Chelsea wants a championship, and I want it for him as bad as him, not because of what it does for the big picture, but more so because I know he wants it and he deserves it. But he hasn't been willing to do it beyond anything other than his terms. And I had a, a little while of like, it wasn't drama, but it's just like tough to understand that. I'm like, look, you know, you're playing baseball, you gotta play by the baseball rules. But last year, and especially last year, like sitting back and watching Chelsea and his dynamic on the track and how he stands out, I've grown a respect of him doing it the way that he wants. This weekend is my first time experiencing being able to just drive how I want in a competitive environment. I totally get it. I wouldn't change the past, but it's been a really cool realization and experience for me to uh, just try everything instead of just staying in the comfort zone. I think it's cool that I've been able to make it work so far too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fun to watch. Seeing you passing people, pushing people's doors in that you've never driven with yeah. on their first lap out. Yeah. Like, fun that way. Yeah, it is. It really is. We're going to get into it and uh, go have some fun. I'm going to do some lead laps because I need some because I've only gotten really one. We're good in the chase. I know what to do. I just act like I'm chasing somebody I don't know every lap and yes, that's the do. best way to do it. <laughs> if we all do our jobs the best of our ability, we are untouchable. Is everybody feeling it right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! We all bring the fun. Yeah. Do what we know we can do, what we've done here many, many times before, and uh, let's have fun doing it. Sound good? Yeah. Liquid gold, man. Give me some more room. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you better be filming this. Changing my rubber. I got touched by Shoes a three pound hammer. Go, dude. <laughs> Put it on. No loop. Just rock. I don't even know what rubber feels like anymore. I'm not married. <laughs> I'm not married. Here, hold that. It's supposed to work the other way. He's a little slow on the uptake sometimes. Sometimes. I got a lot going on, and I'm only listening out of one ear. Good luck the rest of the weekend, hey, both of you. Thank you very much. Congrats on uh, picking us up so quick. Try it, man. Yeah, man. So you got a plan for this battle? Nope. <laughs> no plan? Nope. It's full time. Yep. Never driven with Travis before. Just gonna chase him for face value and uh, run my good lead. Doesn't matter who it is. That's the plan. RTR spec 5 FD on Ditto tires. Chelsea Nova coming down the hill. Say how to get rowdy. 
a mocking entry for Chelsea Denofa. Big angle from Denofa coming up the hill. I know they swapped the engine last night. They had some issues. But it seems to be 100% right now. Gets into the dirt. A lot of dirt. Wow. He hung it out there for quite some time. The sand people getting blasted right here in front of the judges' stand. And now into that final inside clip. Lead needs to get deep in zone one without dropping a tire in zone two. So deep in one, deep in two, and he should uh, be able to pass it down to Chelsea. Tighten it up, dial it in, put a bow on it. Travis Reeder, pass that inside clip. Thought Chelsea would be a little bit more on the side of Travis Reeder as they go to that second outside zone. As we talked about, Reeder did what he needed to do. Does Chelsea have it? He transitions out. Even a consistent distance is Chelsea Denofa, but not exactly the aggressive Denofa that we've seen in the past. Stewart, duties, Chelsea Denofa, Travis Reader, one more time, one more time, and there you go. OMC across the board. that we didn't like in run one, and, or sorry, in the first battle in both of their runs. So we're looking for them to clean it up now and really put together solid lead and chase runs so that we can find a winner. And also feature that X factor, which has become so apparent and, uh, you know, a, a criteria that we're looking for. And we know both these guys have it. Chelsea Denofa initiates, barely nudges that inside clip. Now up the hill into that first outside zone. Second outside zone goes Chelsea, Travis Peter. He's got great proximity, and there you see Chelsea rip away, hitting that rev limiter. Oh, wow, Travis Reeder shuts it down. Reeder and that Nicholas. We really used the angle of the vehicle to slow down and did it really precisely. All right, here we go as we are taking a look. Travis Reeder initiating Chelsea Nope in the chase position. Travis Reeder needs to put down a heater of a run. Travis, the heater reader, now Blazing a trail up to that second outside zone. Built all of it, Chelsea Denofa. Out of the keyhole. And Reader with that wide swing. See that line? He kind of went wide and then tightened it up to that touch and go. And Chelsea kept pace. So unfortunately. All right, team, all three through. That's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> We're in. Good game, squad. I'm like, oh, this would be really cool if I could do this whole chase lap only being exactly one car from him. And I played just exactly one car the entire time. And you were there. And I was like, it was oh, a lot of patience. Man, it was. It was. This car is as fast as our car. It's fast. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm just saying, like, it was great because I could do that and just be smooth. Well, no, it was not. You were way faster than him up the hill. Yeah, but that's because I get the run, that's all. It's right. not the car. It's more of this. I, that time, I got the run. Got it. I did Sorry all I on can. the run-up on the first one. I missed a shift. Oh, I was way behind you anyway. On the first run? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm talking about like, going down the hill, like on the run-up. Oh. I missed third. Oh, I mean, I was still pretty far behind. Okay. It stayed in up the hill, obviously, and then like on the way back down in front of you, I held it then, I was on it, and as soon as I went to transition and lifted, it bounced into third, oh. stayed in third. Oh, it well, caught, so and then it was, worked. wow! But it worked. It worked. That's better than neutrals. Yeah. That's funny, that's I crazy. Know. I thought maybe, because you know how slick the track is up top right now, I thought maybe me doing like what I was doing was way different than I was normally doing, because I dropped the tire in the first run. The second mm -hmm. run, I took it like crazy, and I thought that that f***ed you up, but apparently, I guess you were straight before that. So yeah. This thing from inner one to outer two is ridiculous. Yeah. Or inner one to outer one. It's like, Full throttle, no breathe, no yeah. nothing, just blaze it up yeah. the hill right now. Yeah. But it hooks up at night and it won't be like that again. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather lose on a mechanical than lose for doing something stupid, I guess. Right. We built a Mustang Mach E. Does anyone know the name of that car? Boom, the Mach E 1400. I'm going to give you this blue one. All right, two more Mach E's. Who's a big Hollywood collector, like for real? For real. You are? All right, I got you. Who has the oldest Denofa shirt on? Oh! Oh, the Denofa, yeah, that's pretty good. That's you. And the shirt, that's good. Perfect, thank you. Here to sign your beloved team. Is this good right here? Yeah, go for it. I think. There you go. Can I get a photo with sure. you? Sure. Thank you. No worries. My name 
neighbor has a Hellcat airboat. Come on. Yeah. Yo, let's go. James and everybody were taking it out on Tuesday because he's hanging out. We have grid life. My boat's got the 6'2 Raptor in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is sick, but it ain't no Hellcat. This is stupid, Mark. Yeah. yeah. See, then that, that we need to, that we need to be positive. Yeah. That sounds like nothing but fun. It does like 0 to 80 on water in 3 seconds. Uh -uh. Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. yes that's... It comes out. They have. They can't go faster than 80 really because it starts coming out of the fucking water. Odie's fast, we know he's hooked up. He's waiting for it. But Chelsea's fast. Fast, fast. He's been waiting for people all week. He's ready for a fast battle. Sometimes you just want to crack one open and just take it to the head. Let's go. Fire it up. Odie Bakshis, Chelsea Denova. Odie Bakshis, through that Star Chicane. Field suspension. S15 coming down the hill. Enzoil. BC Racing. Mustang RTR Specs on FD. Z Radio Versido tires. Cody Bashi's good angle there. Get that first outside zone. Fairly similar angle there. Oh, you see him kind of dive in. Oh! Chelsea Milpa not backing down. Coming through that second inside clip and exiting that keyhole. Now past that final inside clip. I knew Odie was going to turn it That up, was crazy. So. You saw it. Here we go. Run to Genofa. Bakshis. Genofa will lead. Pennzoil. RTR. Whoa. Spec 5. FD. Big angle from Chelsea Genofa. Look at that. Yanking on that handbrake. Uh, he is going for it. This is that X Factor I was talking about. Was it too much? Was it too early? Let's take a look at it again. Shredding the bumper budget going out the window. Big angle from Genova. Cody Bakshis checks back. Look at that. These guys are throwing fast at the angle. Big attitudes. Bumper flying. It's going everywhere. This is insane. How, how can you not love Genova? He is not afraid to buck all trends and do the most crazy thing. I actually think that stuff right there is what has made him so popular. And this is almost like a reverse entry. He slows down a lot though, and Odie right here starts crawling up towards him. I think the judges are going to look at that negatively on Denofa because of how much he slowed to the inside clip and how that may have affected Odie after that section. But now that we're back in the run, they go right back, put the guns away, put it on missiles, and just start absolutely destroying the track, the cars, everything else, and giving us an amazing show. Wow, that was sick, man. Yeah, that was unbelievable. And, and, and to your point, yeah, you gotta, that is a great point. That is why Chelsea has become just a, a fan favorite. He talks about it. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. And the judge, you know, I'm gonna make it do what it do, baby. You know, Ray Charles, right? Impossible to do a reverse entry here without slowing down and affecting the chase driver. And it looks like that's what happened here as we take a look at the results. Here we go, slide him left for Denofa, slide him right for Odie Bakshis, and Odie Bakshis gets the win. Well, I felt, I feel you lost on entry. I lit up at the same time he did. You were backwards. Oh, yeah, but my, he railed me up, up the, the hill. Clip. And railed me down the hill. I was cutting line, chopping. I, was I, mean, like, I heard you talking about low power, but you're blowing the tires off and had a 500 shit ton PSI of angle. nitrous. I know, but you're blowing Couldn't the tires off. Couldn't even blow it off in interclip two. Was like clutch you watch that? Yeah, but I know. I was floored and it wasn't climbing right. ever. So my line and everything I did, I had to adjust to not having any wheel speed. I had a clutch kick three times to get it to light off in interclip what two. What would cause that? I had 500 PSI. I know, but what would cause that? 
a leak or a bad bottle, bad fill. So it's funny because it's like, oh, you could have put more in it so that I was ready for OD. Right. But then I would have been screwed anyway. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's why I'm like, ah. Well, sorry, bro. You know, not the greatest. It's fine. Not a perfect weekend. I know you are sorry, but it's sorry. just like I'm just struggling, man. <laughs> yeah. I was in such a good place and lit off. I felt right where I was supposed to in the chase, and it just I watched him yank away from me. That leaves you, Vaughn. Yep. Oh, man, that's a run. We got a winner. And he ripped around and he's debuting that, you know, that 24 Ford Mustang, the RTR. Call him the modern day Carol Shell. He's so proud to know him and call him as a friend. The Monster Energy and your winner, the Monster Energy and Neil Tire Ford Mustang RTR Stock 5D, Falcon Junior! Yay! <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, boys, look at Larry. Hold those things damn up and proud. Yo, make some noise for him, kids. Come on now. I'm not that far off from it. <laughs> I think he might be taller. Maybe. <laughs> Fist bump the camera. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So Vaughn got the win. I'm really stoked about that. Perfect event for him. So P1 qualifier and winning the event. He definitely had a bracket that put him there, but he drove the hell out of that thing and put it everywhere it needed. Car was feeling it at the end, but I think uh, overall he's pretty stoked. And I think the whole team is really excited to see him get the win. My battle did not go as planned. Looking back at it now that I've watched it, I feel like I didn't have to drive really hard. I think Odie made a lot of, let's say, corrections or things to be fast and pull away from me. And I feel like watching it back, the judges also agreed with that. But in the moment, I felt like he pulled me and he hit all the marks he needed because I'm just focused on chasing him. And then I drove way too hard to the back E and drove like an asshole because I look for any excuse to do that. And him pulling me and making a big, what I thought he had, he had an advantage, but he didn't. I just needed to go put a good lap down and probably would have won. But hindsight's 2020, and that's the name of the game. I just uh, probably need to get better information on everything. I'm excited to go towards Orlando, see what we can do, and uh, improve on our communication with the spotter and the rest of the team to just have the car we need and make sure we can win. Because we have both of them. We're capable of winning. We just didn't line up this time. Uh -oh.